Hello everyone. Uh, the 22 Afghan men that were seeking asylum in South Africa are considering abandoning their application. The group's lawyer, Maurice Crispy, told the Sovietan newspaper that his clients are looking at residing in other countries because they were clearly not welcome in South Africa. Last month, the men had tried to enter South Africa via Beard Bridge from Zimbabwe but were turned away by the border post manager for failure to produce enough evidence that their lives were at risk and they were fleeing from the Taliban that had taken over their country of birth. Maurice said yes, it's true that the asylum seekers are reconsidering their position, especially if there are alternative destinations for them. The reconsideration is a result of the backlash that they have witnessed over the last two weeks. They were led to believe that South Africa will be a hospitable destination for them, but they are now faced with the reality that they are clearly not welcome here. The men had escaped from the country of their birth last year after the Taliban took over governance and they are in the list of wanted citizens for assisting the American government when it was in control in Afghanistan. They fled to Pakistan before they settled in Zimbabwe. Maurice said they didn't apply for asylum in Pakistan because it was unsafe. Afghan refugees in Pakistan are being mistreated, with at least four people dying in custody and thousands more being held in prisons. Children are among these being arrested and tied together with the ropes. According to reports, while Pakistan authorities claim they are only detaining illegal Afghan entrants, those with official UNHCR, which is United Nations High Commissioner for Refugee Status, are also being arrested and detained. The number of arrests and deportations has increased since the Taliban seized power in Afghanistan in August 2021. Minister of Former First Dr. Aaron Motualedi told the publication that they now intend to challenge the Monday's court decision which allowed the men to apply for asylum in South Africa. He said the decision came after his colleagues in department and outside voiced their concerns about their reason behind the men spending asylum into South Africa. The men said they wanted to come to South Africa to bring their medical skills to help the victims of crimes in Cape Floods in Western Cape. Initially, Mutualedi's office said they wouldn't challenge the court's decision. Subsequent to that, quite a number of colleagues in government were not very convinced that they shouldn't challenge the court order, even their own department. Some of his colleagues were not happy and said perhaps they are approaching the case in a wrong way. Perhaps they should get legal advice from legal gurus outside the state. Aaron said that was an insult to South Africa for a group to offer their professional skills while they were applying for an asylum visa. They are basically saying, allow me to your country because after all you need me as I can help you in the cave flats. You don't need somebody to come and say you have needs in the cave flats and I'm coming there. That's undermining. Secondly, they are not even mentioning their type of medical skills they have. If they are specialists, however, we do have a shortage of specialists. That is a scarce skill. He also questioned why the group, whose legal fees are being bankrolled by a US-based NGO, had not applied for asylum from Pakistan as it has similar immigration laws to South Africa. He said, what we know is that they left Afghanistan, they went to Pakistan from there to Qatar, from there to Zimbabwe, and they are now in Zambia. In all those countries, they never applied for asylum or went to court. I heard their lawyer say during a radio interview that they applied for asylum in the US but they were rejected. If that's the case, why didn't they take the Americans to court? Why is it us South Africa who are being taken to court, not the Americans? Share your views on this one people. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more news.